We start off with a disturbing but very important topic. There's a drug that about 20 or 30 years ago most people thought of as an inner city problem. Well, heroin has left the inner city and has infiltrated all socioeconomic communities and all age groups. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control says that in the last few years, deaths from heroin overdoses have doubled just in the last few years in most states Nevada included. So we decided to take a look at this disturbing trend, see why it's happening, but also to take a look at what local and state leaders are doing to help those who want to recover. Now we want to warn you, if you're a little squeamish about needles, there may be times you'll want to turn away from the screen, but please continue to listen because this is a very important topic. Alicia Marshall is the house manager in this women's sober living home. To sit and talk with her is a pleasure. It's inspiring. At first, you might think the life that led her here was one filled with passion for helping those in need, or perhaps a college degree in family counseling. But the road that brought her to this job actually began at the age of 12, when she began experimenting with drugs and alcohol. By the time actually I was 14, I was a daily user. Um, with whatever was around. Um, but of course, by 17, I was full-blown meth addict. Um, daily user, ended up in the hospital because of a very abusive relationship. That's where she says she was introduced to painkillers and quickly became addicted to them, needing more and more to achieve the high she was looking for. From about 17 to 23, I was drinking almost daily, uh, started getting back on heavier pain medication, um, you know, started with the usual progress, the lower tabs, the oxycodone, oxycotton, and eventually one day somebody offered me heroin because it was a lot cheaper. It's five dollars for, you know, for a hit to get high. Joe Engel lost his 19-year-old son, Reese, to a heroin overdose and is now president of the nonprofit foundation There Is No Hero in Heroin. He says it's not only cheaper than prescription drugs, it is way too accessible and they're delivering small amounts, very small amounts of very potent, potent heroin, pizza delivery style. They're, 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 they're coming to you, so to speak. They have business hours, and, uh, and the addicts know the business hours, so they call during those business hours, and with 15 to 20 minutes, they, they have it delivered to them wherever they're at in town. It's within 20 minutes, no matter where you are, to your front door, to the park, to your, I used to have it delivered to work. Um, it's just that easy to get. According to many whose lives have been damaged by heroin, it's not only the availability and the affordability that's increasing the number of heroin addicts. A newer form of heroin now being sold on the streets has doubled the number of overdose deaths in recent years. A lot of um, drug dealers now are lacing heroin with fentanyl, and fentanyl is 10 times stronger than heroin. And if they lace that, they can stretch their supply. And the thing is, is users, they don't realize that that's what they're getting and they're doing the same dose and they're dying. And, you know, like I said, in the past year that I've been sober, I know of about eight to 10 people that have died. That is why individuals like Alicia and organizations like There Is No Hero in Heroin have joined forces with our medical community, local and state leaders to pass SB 459. Is that a different form of yeah, and this is administering? Dr. David Slattery heads up the EMS division of Las Vegas Fire and Rescue. He knows firsthand the importance of this new law. Uh, that has a lot of components to it, um, <clears throat> but one of those components is, is arming the public with the reversal agent for opiate overdoses. So when someone has a heroin overdose or takes too many uh, pain pills and stops breathing, um, the reversal agent, the way we, the antidote for that is Narcan. And now in the past, this is only available by paramedics. Dr. Slattery says the Narcan comes in two forms. One is a nasal application. The other works much like an EpiPen someone might use for severe allergic reactions. So all you're going to do is you're going to pull this red thing. Okay. You're going to put it on your outer thigh. Okay. And you just push it down. Gotcha. He recommends some training before getting a prescription from your doctor or therapist, but it is not required. 
Some have questioned why try to save someone who is trying to commit suicide. Aside from it being the right thing to do, according to Dr. Slattery, he says not all overdoses are suicide attempts. The family members and friends that have someone that's suffering from an addiction, of prescription pain medication or heroin, um, it's a tough position to be in. And this really empowers them to know that they can help their loved one in the case that uh, they would have an overdose or, or, or need it. If we look at this as a health issue rather than a criminal endeavor and treat it as such, you know, these aren't, these aren't bad kids trying to get good, you know, they're, they're sick kids trying to get well. Like Alicia, who has been clean and sober for more than a year now. It took many tries at recovery, but she finally made it thanks to Joe's foundation and many others. And being here at the Sober Living House is exactly where she feels she can now help others find their way back to life. Um, when people come in brand new, it reminds me of where I was. And I'm able to help other women, you know, along the way and say, hey, I've been there too. I felt that way. Um, you're going to be okay. As long as you don't pick up again, you're going to be okay. An interesting and touching note about Alicia, she actually doesn't even know who paid for her medical and recovery bills. She says it must have been someone who saw hope in a young lady who had lost all of hers. It almost had a loss for words for it because I, I know for a fact I would not be alive right now if it wasn't for them at all. They saved my life. And finally, to those who are ever faced with the temptation to try heroin, these are the words from one father who lost his son. Do it, heroin is the devil. I mean, once you start, I mean, being, being in, you know, take, taking the first hit is, is, is kind of your choice, you know, but becoming an addict is not your choice, and heroin will win. If you or a loved one are having a problem with drug or alcohol addiction, there are many recovery options in the city of Las Vegas. We can't go any further without thanking everyone who participated in that story. Coming forward with your brave story is going to help someone.